Hey guys, this is Skysmart. Now, following the release of the mechanics on Maple C, I realized I did not get an extra character slot. Yeah, what the hell. So basically what I did was, I deleted my Wild Hunter in order to create a mechanic. Now, I didn't want to do this of course because I had no other character slots left, so... I had no choice but to delete my, uh, my Wild Hunter, so... Now, effect from that, uh, I cannot do my Wall Hunter 170 videos anymore because I don't have a Wall Hunter. Now, so my perfect solution to this, what I do is I actually am going to do everything at once now. I'm going to bring you guys from level 1 all the way to level 70. I'm going to do it uh, right here on one single video. And I'm going to be using a mechanic. Now, one thing you guys should know about this is most of the maps here are only for mechanics. Now, wall hunters can do pretty good in these, um, battle mages not so much, but um, generally they have the same map, my, map training locations, but because wall hunters have ricochet and um, mechanics have drill rush and atomic hammer, they can go through all these maps really quickly because they're flat. Now, of course, battle mage can do that with the other little cool thing, yeah, I'm not sure what the thing is called, I've not played the battle mage at all, so I do not know what the thing is called, but these maps are more straight line training oriented, so without further ado, allow me to get started. Alright guys, now for level 10 to 25, you're gonna go to the Blue Ribbon Beach, which is at Natalia's Dock in Victoria Island, so you're gonna have to go to Victoria Island, and you can train at the Blue Picks there. They are level 13, but they're fairly easy to kill with your uh, low level drill rush. Probably, uh, you should get level 1 drill rush at level 10, so do make yourself level 1 drill rush. And because this map is pretty flat all around, except for like two bumps in the middle of nowhere, uh, it's pretty easy to drill rush all the way through from one end of the map to the other end of the map. And that's how you're gonna get from level 10 to 25. Alright guys, for level 25 to 30, you're gonna go back to Edelstein and go to Street Light Row, where you're gonna be able to straight on the street lights there. And the street lights there are level 25, they're easy to kill with your drill rush as um, seen in this clip. And this map is relatively small and it has two layers, so it's very easy for you guys to train there. And you're gonna stay down to level 30, as I said, where you get your second job advancement. Alright, at level 30, you can go to the Mushroom Castle, which you can teleport to from your job instructor once you finish your second job advancement. And once you're there, you're gonna start doing all the Mushroom Castle quests until you can finally enter the, uh, the skyscraper areas. And once you do that, you're gonna go to either Skyscraper 2 or Skyscraper 6. Now, these maps have, uh, have Helmet Peepeeps and Royal Guard Peepeeps, respectively. So, one of them is at level 33, the other one is at level 34, so you're gonna choose either of these maps to train from, and the reason you're training from at these maps is because these maps are flat and relatively easy to use drill rush and atomic hammer. Basically what you wanna do is you wanna drill rush everything to one side, and then atomic hammer whatever is not there. And you're gonna do that, and all the mushroom castle quest, until you get to level 40, where the fun will begin.
Now unfortunately for level 40 to 50, I have no clip for you because le level 40 and 50, you guessed it, you're gonna be doing the monster carnival. And as you know, I cannot answer given my level. So basically what you wanna do is find a team, uh, be it someone who will kill with you or someone who glitches from you because uh, both of them are level for this option. And what you wanna do is form a 2v2 team and find another 2v2 team and go inside room 3 or 4, max room bot and fire away. What you want to do is you want to drill rush all the monsters to one side and atomic hammer them. Now if your partner wants to share them with you then just drill rush them to the middle and you and your partner can kill them together. It's kind of hard to show you this without a video but I hope you guys get what I mean because it should be pretty straightforward, um, just a normal way of mechanic training. Alright, at level 51, you're gonna want to head to Ludibrum and you're gonna go to Sky Terrace. At level 51, you're gonna go to Sky Terrace 2 and fight the pink teddies there. The map is relatively small and flat, so you can use your drill rush and atomic hammer there freely. At level 55 onwards, you're gonna want to go to Sky Terrace 5 and you're gonna want to train at Detroit Toy Trojans there. And uh, following the two methods that I have in this clip, um, depending on whether you do have portal or you do not have portal uh, of course having portal at that level is means that you will not have some other skill at a higher level but also means that uh, training will be much easier because as you can see you can train in a circular motion and the mobs can respawn uh, once you kill them pretty quickly Alright guys, at level 60, you want to go to Aqua Road, which is a bit of Ludibrum. You can just go through the Helios Tower to get to Aqua Road. And uh, once you're there, you want to go to the Sandcastle Playground. And once you're at the Sandcastle Playground, you can start training there. There we have uh, Flowerfish at level 61. And Crips, which are those little prawn things, they're at level 62. And what you want to do here is you want to follow the training cycle I have in this clip. Because uh, it takes basically it allows monsters to respawn next time you come so that you don't so that you kill um, the most the most number of monsters per round and you can use the water here to actually travel between the uh, platforms because unlike the other maps I've shown you in this tu uh, tutorial uh, the Sand Castle playground is not very flat you can see it is very big and has a lot of different platforms so you're gonna train here until very quickly you will be level 65 Alright guys, at level 65, you're going to want to go all the way back to Edelstein, where you're going to want to train at the Puppets at the Verna Mine. That's the 10 minute um, quest dungeon thing. Now for those of you who do not know how to go in there, um, I have a little live commentary section lined up after this, which will show you how to go, so enjoy yourself. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you how to get to Puppets at the Verna Mine. Alright, so... Uh, First thing you want to do is you want to go over to the map where Stefan is at. It's this map over here, road to the line 1. And I'll cut to when I get there. Alright, so once you're here, you want to go all the way to the top. Where you can see the little green mark on my map. That is where the NPC Stefan is. So here he is. And what you want to do is you want to talk to him. And accept the quest, uh, Secret Proposition. I don't have it because I already completed it, but uh... You're going to have 100k and you're going to talk to him until he asks you to pay him 100k and you will do that and then you will get a Blackwing's hat. Just think here, don't ask me why is it scroll. I have junk scroll so I might as well use it. And so once you have that, that make sure you equip your Blackwing's hat. And we're going to go a couple maps to the right until the entrance of the line. So we're just going to walk there really quickly. And here we are at the mine entrance, so we're gonna have to go inside. Now, if you do not have a Black Wings hat, uh, just let me show you this, okay? If you do not have a Black Wings hat, if you try to go in, 
you cannot go in because you have to have a something with a Black Wings logo on it. So Black Wing ha Black Wings hat does it. So now you can go in. There you go. Now once you go in, talk to the first person you see, and then accept his accept her quest. Oops, not this one. There we go. And she wants you to go and kill some puppet. So you're going to go inside here. And here you are at this room. Now the first thing you want to do when you're here is go to your quest log and forfeit this quest because if you do not do that you will once you complete this quest you will not be able to come in again if you want to come if you want to keep on coming in make sure you have that now along with this video I'm also going to be showing you uh, how to train here so basically what you do is let me go into my mech all right what you want to do is you want to as you can see drill rush works very well here and what you want to do is you want to actually let me come here real quick Put a portal here, and you're gonna come over here, go up here, and put a portal here. So what you want to do is you want to uh, stay here, drill rush everything over here, then kill everything here, go down, and then drill rush everything to the right, and then kill everything, then you move on to the top portal, and you keep doing this. So that's basically how you train here. Alright guys, just a quick recap at level 20 to 25, Blue Ribbon Picks, at level 25, Street Lights, level 30, Mushroom Castle, level 40, Monster Carnival, level 50, Pink Teddies, level 55, Troy Trojans, level 60s, Flowerfish and Crib, and at level 66, Rowdy Puppets at Edelstein. That's it for this time, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.